Hey guys, Tech Control with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if the check-in feature is not working. You might be getting something this, like this, where it says check-in is not available to send to this recipient, or along the lines of check-in not working. There's, there's multiple things you need to know about check-in feature that's on iOS 17. We're going to talk about that and also show you guys a couple fixes that you can do that could resolve this issue for you. So. Whenever you're sending a check-in, first thing is if you have to be on iOS 17, so if you didn't upgrade to iOS 17, make sure your phone is upgraded to iOS 17 by going to your settings, general, software update, and you should see iOS 17 update available if your phone is able to update to iOS 17, which is iPhone 10R, 10S, 10X Max, and anything newer than that. iPhone 10 and older are not available to get iOS 17. So after you upgrade it to iOS 17, all you do in order to send a check-in is really simple here. In your messages, usually you will open up a message to someone. You click on that plus icon, click on more here, right? Click on more, and then this option allows you to send a check-in so that your friends or family can know whenever you're going from one location to another. It'll notify of them their progress. But if it's not working, you're getting some sort of error, um, what you'll do is first thing is go ahead and close out the messages app. So you'll slide up with your finger and I usually just like to close it out and if you want you can close out all the apps as well. After you have done that, pull down the control menu here. We're going to do a quick network refresh by turning on airplane mode and turning back off the airplane mode and that does is a quick network refresh of your data. So if it's just a data related issue because you'll need to be able to connect to the internet, either Wi-Fi or cellular data, it's important that you have that. Now, the other thing I wanna mention is a lot of users will notice check is not available because A, the other person that you're trying to send it to doesn't have iOS 17 yet or they haven't updated to iOS 17. So the recipient also has to have iOS 17, not just you. And also they have to, of course, have an iPhone because it will not send it to Android phone. So it's important to keep in mind that the person you're sending it to has iPhone with iMessage turned on as well. Now after that, the next thing you want to do in your setting is to verify in your settings here. You can go to settings and then under the settings, you're going to look for messages, right? You want to ensure that iMessage for yourself is turned on. So you want to make sure that is turned on. But more importantly, if you go down here, all right, there's a couple options here. There's option now for check-in uh, data. Under this option, you want to ensure, again, the data is full, right? You want to keep that important thing that it's full, not in any other way. So make sure it's not limited. So you want to keep that full. The other thing you also want to check in your main settings here is under privacy and security, you need to ensure that location service is turned on. And then under system services, you want to ensure that significant locations is turned on as well. So you can find significant locations here. You want to ensure that is turned on as well. So location services and significant location service also has to be turned on. Finally, after you have done all of that, it's time to give your phone a force restart, which will again resolve any software issues that may be impacting that check-in not working. So in order to do a force restart, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, right, one after another, not this very top button, that's the action button on the new iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. So that's a volume up, volume down, one after another, and then you hold this side button until the screen goes completely black. At that time, once you see the Apple logo, you'll let go of that button, and then it will reboot normally. So I'll do volume up, volume down, one after another, and then I hold the side button. And if for some reason Siri activates, that means you didn't press volume up and down quick enough and you wait for that phone to just go completely black and then you'll notice the Apple logo reappear and after the Apple logo reappears that means it's going to be rebooting you'll let go of that button and again this will shut down the software and reload the code again fixing any software related issue that may be impacting functionality of your phone now this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will still be on your phone you don't have to worry about that now the next thing you want to do if you're still having issue with the, your check-in not working correctly is going into your settings and then under your settings here you want to go to um, general 
software update and see if there's update available out. Sometimes uh, with a previous update might have caused issues with check-in function not working correctly. You want to make sure your phone is up to date. And the other thing to verify is the recipient also has the latest version of the software update. So if you want to let the person know that if they haven't updated the phone to the latest version, they should also update it as well. And uh, lastly, if it's still not working for some reason, well, there's one rare case that happens where iMessage might, service might be down, so you can check that by going into any browser and search up Apple system status, and then if you search that up, it'll take you to the very first page, which is Apple's support page, which tells you about their systems that are working currently. Normally, if you click on that, all of the service should say available, but if you look for iMessages, right, if you look for around here, iMessages, you want to ensure that is available. In rare cases, sometimes it's not available or not working because of servers being down. In that case, all you have to, you can't really do much. You'll have to just wait for it to be available. And generally, Apple fixes these problems really quick within a few hours or so or, because, of course, they want to make sure all the services are running. So that's it. I hope now your check-in is working and going through all these troubleshooting steps if so please make sure to like and subscribe button or if you find a better way to fix the issue leave a comment in the comment section to share with everyone as well thanks for watching guys see you guys next time